Hi everyone, welcome back to Crafting at Whimsy Wonderland. My name is Stacy. I have a quick um, summary spring, I guess, project for you using one of these canvases from Michaels. It is a 14 inch by 14 inch. I got these at their lowest price of the season sale in a six pack. And I think this was about, I want to say $13, so maybe about $2 a canvas. But you can't get this size canvas at the Dollar Tree so um, you have to get it somewhere else so you might be able to make this work on an 11 by 14 from the Dollar Tree if you want the thin backed just like board okay. Okay. gotta work for a second to get these out every other one is wrapped in plastic so I'm trying to use the unwrapped ones first to protect my other ones Whew, that was working Okay, so I'm taking out just one canvas from that package, and then right now if you have a Cracker Barrel, they have some really cute bags. I love this one, they're kind of like a tarp fabric. Um, I love the herd that, and I'm redoing my kitchen and farmhouse with using some cows and whatnot for the picture. All right camera quit because I just ran out of space on my hard drive anyway I these bags go on sale at Cracker Barrel all the time three for five which makes it a dollar sixty nine per bag and gives you two nice pieces of art for a dollar sixty nine plus you're getting the side pieces as well that I might be able to do something with this could be fun to cover a journal cover with or make a book out of or even um, some kind of planner or something I don't know I have to think about that one but for now I'm just going to use the one cow from this side and I'm going to go ahead and cut yeah I'm going to go ahead and cut along the stitching line here I keep grabbing my bad scissors all, all my scissors are getting all covered with glue and whatnot I need to get some new ones every once in a while I have to do that actually I'm going to cut this webbing off because you never know this could make some nice handles on a tray or something so save save that <laughs> I know I'm a pack rat alright so if I'm going to get hurt that all the way on there going to look like that and that's going to be fun. Right. So I'm wondering if I get my stapler and open it up flat. This will even staple into here. Oh, it does. I might get away without even having to decoupage this. <laughs> so cut your piece as big as you can so you have some extra room to fold it over. This is going to look good. I wish I could get those wrinkles out, so I'm going to see if heating it with my heat gun will work. Just going to warm it up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take these staples out that I had, that I just put in, <laughs> because I want to see if I can get this a little bit tighter. 
trying very hard not to damage my picture or the canvas. I'm really kind of excited that this was able to actually even work. I heat this up a little more. I'm hoping that once I heat it, I can kind of smooth this fold out. And be careful with this heat gun. Do not want it to. Okay. So I'm going to pull this just as tightly as I possibly can. That helped. But what I'm noticing is it started to shrink a little bit. I'm going to see what I can do here. Remember, if I mess it, mess it up, I have another one. So I'm just going to experiment and we'll see how this works. I'm going to try to shrink this to pull it a little tighter. So as it was heating, it was kind of pulling it, shrinking it, melting it a little. Before I go any farther, I'm going to go ahead and try to attach these other sides, but I am going to take these staples back out because now I have some, now that I stretched it this way, I've got a little more play in this one, so I'm going to need to take that up and just, it's really important that you stretch it as firm as you can. And this is just a regular office stapler. You could also use one that you would get from the hardware store. Um, but it's not really necessary. It's going into this wood nicely. Just stretch it as tight as you can. And I'm putting more staples in it than they did with the canvas. And that's okay. Alright, i got to deal with the corner. So with the corner, I'm just kind of poking it in a little bit and bringing it up. And then I'm going to give it a little trim. Just tuck in all four corners kind of like you're making a bed so that you have a finished edge that will look nice once it's done. This is looking good. I'm going to trim this a little bit. Sure you stretch it as tightly as you can. All right, this is looking pretty good, but I can still see the. Let's see if you can see them. If I can get the light to hit them just right. See those creases, like right in here, and there's some creases down here and trying to pull those out so what I'm going to do <clears throat> now that it's all stretched as tight as I can get it I'm going to heat it just a little bit and let it pull and see what we can do here I'm kind of doing a shrink wrap shrink wrap effect
So I'm heating the sides, hoping that as that shrinks, it'll pull the rest of it over. I'm seeing movement. So make sure you don't keep your heat gun in one spot for too long. You don't want to catch your little bag on fire here. Well, this is working great. Okay. Let's see what it does here. I don't know. Can you see it pulling in? You don't have a heat gun, definitely try it with a hair dryer. I don't know if the hair dryer will get hot enough to do this. It might. This wrinkle right here is what I'm trying to pull out. working. I wish you could really see how this is working. It is looking so much nicer now. I am so impressed with this. Okay, I hope that you could see those wrinkles before because now look at that, how smooth it is across that cow's face. Remember there was a pull that was wrinkling right here? That totally pulled it out. So heat up your edges first and see how much that pulls and then lightly go over it. I can't seem to get this crease out right here, but I don't think it's too bad. And I'm loving how this just tightened it up and stretched it out and I cannot wait to put this in my kitchen. All right, there you have it, my cow wall hanging made from a tarp style grocery sack, which I purchased at Cracker Barrel Country Store for three bags for $5. So each bag was $1.69 and I got two pictures out of each bag that I purchased. And I used a 14 by 14 canvas from Michael's and it, the canvas cost me about $2, the bag $1.69. So for less than four bucks, I've got a really pretty 14 by 14 inch a hanger to put in my kitchen. I have another cow print from Michaels that I purchased that's been done on wood and she has a flower wreath on her head too so I think this is going to look really cute hanging up there with that and the heat melting it with the heat gun really tightened this up and made it look more professionally done. Took out all the wrinkles and just put a polish on it that is really hard to see on camera but it looks like canvas because of that tarp and how it melted. I'm really happy with that. Just be really careful with your heat gun that you don't leave it in one place too long. Otherwise, you'll end up with um, melting that you don't want and you might actually melt a hole in it. So there's a fine line, take your time. But remember, the bag was only $1.69 and you got two pictures out of it, okay? So let me know what you're thinking about this project in the comment section below, if this is something you might try for yourself. Um, have you seen this bag at the, at the Cracker Barrel or other bags that they have? They have a beautiful peacock one right now too. Anyway, let me know what you might be trying to do with this. All right, this has been Crafting at Whimsy Wonderland. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.